Hey guys, Leslie here, and today I want to talk to you about your thyroid health, how it relates to hair health, overall sense of mood and energy, and what seaweed has to do with it. So in some of my other videos on Japanese anti-aging secrets, I've talked about what a superfood seaweed is. And as a kid, um, with a mom from Taiwan, I grew up snacking on this. So this is, these are just little sheets of toasted seaweed with a bit of salt on them. And what I didn't know as a kid was that they're very satiating. So they fill you up, but they don't actually give you a lot of calories. They're full of fiber, but they're also full of vitamins A, C, E, K, and D, as well as a lot of calcium. They actually have more calcium per uh, per gram than milk. And the other thing that's really important about them is that this is very, very beneficial to your thyroid, that butterfly-shaped gland on your throat, which produces all of your thyroid hormones. And thyroid governs mood, energy, mental clarity, heart rate, metabolism. It's incredibly important for such a small gland. So the reason that, that seaweed can do this is because it also contains iodine and tyrosine, an amino acid. And those two together, along with uh, selenium, zinc, copper, manganese, are all needed to make thyroid hormones. Um, so you can get more seaweed into your diet just having it as a snack or having it with sushi. Um, growing up as a kid, I would have it with this seaweed paste, uh, which is out of Taiwan, and it just gives a little, this one happens to be, I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit thicker, and it's, you can see it's how it's sort of sticking there to my chopsticks, and it just gives um, a slightly sweet and salty umami taste to everything. I love the taste of it. Mm. I absolutely love it, but you're doing your thyroid uh, a lot of favors at the same time too. You can get it here in Europe. A lot of European countries have actually gotten in on harvesting clean seaweed from Atlantic waters. So this one comes from Scotland. Uh, it's called Mara seaweed, and I don't know if you can see that, and you can see inside here what it looks like. Um, Oh yeah, and there's a kind of salt shaker top, which makes it very handy for sprinkling on your salads, on your fish or your chicken. And um, fantastic taste, but you can also get it from um, you know Ireland uh, or uh, the Welsh do it as well. The Spaniards have gotten in on it. When I was in West Cork in Ireland last summer, uh, I actually found a manufacturer of a kind of seaweed paste, not unlike this one from Taiwan, um, except theirs was more of a green color. It wasn't as dark, so obviously different type of seaweed. And they made it into a kind of pesto with capers. Um, and of course, capers are absolutely fantastic for you too because they have very high quercetin content. So would be good for joints and things like that. So you can look for these uh, these seaweeds that don't necessarily come from Asia, you can get them uh, certainly in Europe and try and add them to your to your meals again as a condiment, as a, you know, a really nice seasoning. Now, I will say that I can just hear some of you were thinking, ah, right, I'm going to go out and I'm going to have this every single day. <laughs> if you are deficient in iodine, then Yes, this is a good way to get it. Seek help is a great way to get it, again, because of the tyrosine content. But if you live in the United States and you eat a lot of iodized salt, be careful because you don't want to have too much iodine. We're always looking for that Goldilocks area, right? That kind of balance. You don't want too much or too little, not too hot, not too cold. So always go for the Goldilocks area and have it now and then. Now that is if you're in the United States and you get iodized, lots of iodized salt in your diet anyway. So if you were to get too much iodine and you were to produce too many thyroid hormones, you would have the exact opposite effect. You would get hyperthyroidism where your heart rate would begin to race. 
your hair would fall out then too. And in addition, you could get something called Graves' disease, which is incredibly serious. You might see people whose eyes are sort of like this, and you have a lot of, you see a lot of the whites around their eyes. Those folks have Graves' disease. Um, or you, uh, you might even get predisposed to thyroid cancer if you had too much. So it's always about moderation, right? And that, I think that makes logical sense. So I hope that this video has helped you learn more about the benefits of seaweed and how the tyrosine and the iodine and some of the other vitamin and vitamins and minerals in it not only help your thyroid but help with your hair as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.